Hello, welcome. My name is Jordan Gonzalez from Gonzalez Racing Team. Here to show you my fifth official race win. This is driving the GRT uh, UGAA UPCI X 238 race scheme. This is a Cup Cars at Charlotte, nighttime. And if I can ever get the buttons right, I was able to qualify in the third position. His power will be off right there. Leader holds back, holds back. Goes, 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 goes. Green flag, green flag. So the second place does not really set himself up for success by lagging back. So that gives me the advantage coming into the turn. Able to shorten the turn up in front of him. Block his momentum. And we'll jump over to the front cars just so we can keep track of them. You can see definitely jostling for position behind him. Third and uh, you know, third and fourth are fighting with the uh, fifth place car right there behind him, waiting to pounce on the loser of that battle. Braden getting out to a nice little start here. Already we have lap traffic. These are people who did not start the race with the rest of the pack. They started from the pits expecting some type of wreck, which is usually a safe bet. And look, a battle for second place. Second place is taken by Mr. Robert Swan. We're in third place is not quite for sale yet. Second place has been given up. Third place. Oh, did you see that? Did you hear that? I heard that. Somebody losing control of their vehicle right in front of the leader. Leader. He loses it coming out of four. He loses it into the track, the grass. No caution. No caution. And he keeps it below the racing surface oh all the way at the end he thought he was going to have it but then he busts his motor not sure why he's just finally he gets his caution that he's looking for all right so i have dropped back from second all the way to was it fifth position first second third fourth yes fifth position That dude is just driving around, being a moron. Like, I'm not sure what he's trying to accomplish here. And if you're the moron watching this, sorry. Sort of. Should have just towed it. Will we be coming in for green flag, or sorry, yellow pit stops. This is a 50 lap race. We are on lap 5. You see myself. I dropped down, leaving the top 4. I do take several of the fields with me. And there's the fire lights, fire truck lights. Twelve cars stay out on the track with five laps on their tires. Wouldn't expect five laps to matter all that much. But we'll see. title of this video is already a, uh, what you might call it, spoiler. Alright, let's go ahead and get through this. Now that we got the pit stopped out of the way, someone else is going down the pit again. Might be a lapper. Uh, 
Alright, one to go. One to go. This car is off. Go, 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 go. See me back there in 12th, losing positions. Oh, how will I pull this off? Oh, look at that. You see, I almost took uh, them three wide, but they cleared up before I did. But I did take them outside. You see that way back there? Way, way back there. Got a little battle here going. Looks like Flames is losing it. Here I am. Couple battles up front, nothing too intense. And I give away another position there. Oh, oh what is that? The 10 car definitely was trying to take a position away, but then he just lost all his momentum. Gets to jump it in way too deep. This is a lot of momentum. Drops back three or four car position car links. So you see I'm sitting here in 13th position. Really what I'm doing is biding my time. I'm hoping for a long green flag run. Because that means I will have five laps fresher tires than our leaders. And if I've saved my tires properly during this, I will have more percentage uh, or less percentage usage on these tires. Not a whole lot happening behind me. I'm going to get real orange black racing gloves if I ever get into real racing. Saw a little smoke there. Right there, yeah. Someone lost it. Untriable. Let's uh, take a look from his point of view what happened. Oh, look at this. This battle for the lead. He loses. He comes down. Oh, contact somewhere. Let's uh, get this. This guy's battling for the lead. And 12 tries to go low. Doesn't really do it. Doesn't pay attention to a spotter that he's got someone out there. And same thing out there. I mean, I guess the 12 did pay attention, but you see, he makes a random... Look at this. He just goes right a little right there. A little curious. Maybe he got loose, but he should really be trying to angle it down. Not going right. Not sure that that would have prevented the contact, but this uh, pink car, whatever that may be, Zoom in, get a nice little look. Eight. Comes down, makes 
with tremendous contact, climbs the wall. No caution though, no caution. So you see the pink car is still up there, losing positions. He's going to have damage, so he's not going to do much except for bottleneck everybody, which allows faster drivers like myself to just gain positions like crazy. There's one position right there. Look at that. Put him behind me pretty quick. There's a pink car fixing to lose another position. Really not able to keep the momentum. Uh, 10 blinking out, losing some connection there with the server. 26 is now losing a position. So that right there, I've gained three positions because they all got bottlenecked. You see I'm gaining on the car in front of me already. I don't, you know, judging by my lift point there, I'm not really pushing the car. I am still trying to save tires and things, but I'm definitely faster than the vehicles in front of me. They all have five laps over their tires, and I did qualify in third, so I should be faster naturally anyways. And I take the guy, he tries to go low to prevent me from passing him down there. I take him high and still make the pass. That lets you know that there's definitely a tire difference. At least. Hopefully. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, not so much a major talent difference, but I'm just talking, 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 talking. So from that little screw up from second and third position, I have gained from 13th, so that's 12, 11, 10, 9, I am now in 8th position, which is 5 positions. Fix it to take ninth, or sorry, eight, sorry, 7th away. No one really pressuring me, I'm doing all the pressuring. Battle's going on behind. See, I'm able to roll the corner a little faster. He lost a lot of momentum. Pretty much just giving up that position, which now puts me in sixth position. The leader is entering uh, turn four now. So you got you gotta be my eyesight. Kind of leaving the pack behind us, so there's basically a six car break. Um, really, even more than that, there's a four car break, then a three car break. Actually, four cars, one of those should be a lapper or something. Alright, looks like a caution has come out. Let's take a look to see what that was about. Where's the caution at? Right there, you see it? Seventeen. 
It's a little high. Contact with the wall. Loses control. Hits the 10. Collects uh, 21. Loses just control. The field behind them slows down enough to make proper maneuvers. You see, this is how you know you're driving a good, good class here. People slow down before they catch the whole wreck. See smoke? Slow down. Breathe down. Blinking there. Alright, so now, with basically only half the race left, that puts everybody. Um, in the position to pit. If I can get a hold of the, my actual buttons I need to be pushing. So, I was in third or fourth, dropped back to 13th, managed my way up to 6th, before the next caution. 25 laps remaining. Let's go up to the leader. The leader has some damage. You don't ever want to see a gap between cars on pit road like this, because that means you're losing time. It means they can uh, finish their pit stop in a slower amount of time. Oh, leader misses the pit. Not only has got damage, but he also pulled uh, in a little too, uh, too far. off pit road he takes out the cone cone lives matter and look at that so do I I take out the cone look at that the cone is stuck to my bumper and there it goes let's let's find out who's got the cone now there goes the cone finally disappeared some smoker who hasn't pitted yet and he's staying out which is really stupid I don't know who you are sir but this is stupid 10 car of Lucas Cram I've raced against you sir I don't remember you doing anything stupid like that but that was pretty stupid Looks like you did take off or get off the track, so I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. So I did gain two positions there. I um, went from sixth to fourth. Four fresh tires. Half the race left. Looks like a car disappeared or something. So there we are. Made it back through the pack up to second place. Now 14 has been leading the race the entire time. Let's see how this will end up. 20 to, uh, 20, 21 laps remaining. 21 laps remaining. See, I'm not really gaining on him, and instead I'm doing a little more defensive. I'm want, trying to make sure that I don't get passed again, but I'm trying to end to make sure I don't lose a leader. I do want to save tires. There's a long enough run. The tires only last about 9-10 laps before they start changing dramatic, uh, 
Yeah, dramatically, dramatically, whatever. Drastically, that's the word. Um, so you don't want to just burn them up. There is a way to go fast with, with while saving your tires. I haven't learned it yet. I have raced against people who do know how. Like, they just blow past me. Even if I save tires, long run, I can't keep up with them. They're just fast. And I don't understand what I, you know, what I'm doing there, but... A little bit of jostling for the third position. Some blocks going there. Still plenty of laps remaining. Eighteen to go. So you see that he's actually letting off rather early there. Looks like he's trying to save some of his equipment too. some contact back there and forth. Well, that's a little bit of an interesting stutter on the gas there. There's no way we're 10 seconds behind the guy. Um, I'm not sure what's wrong with this uh, application, but my apologies. Zero. Yeah, we're not even one second behind the guy. Maybe 1.2 at max. You see, I'm getting a little bit of a pressure there from the guy behind me. My goal is to take away the preferred line and make him use up his tires. Even, you know, on the entry or something, just to make him lose a bit more of his uh, usable tire. That way I can focus ahead of me and not have to worry about what's behind me. Fourteen to go. Oh, look at them back there fighting for fifth. Oh, this would be contact, but they're doing good racing side by side. Check out the gyro cam. That's how banked these corners are. Looks like he's trying to just get some extra momentum by taking that higher lane. Tend to go. Tend to go. Definitely sees that damage on the right side. Must have gotten in contact with the wall or something. It's not really hurting his speed.
Do a little bit of a distance now between second and third. He was able to hold him off long enough, get him to use up some of his tires. So now, focusing on the leader here. Seven to go at the line. Making up some ground there. Actually, it looks like third place is coming with me. Making up ground to the leader here. I love it when my hood gets bigger, bigger, bigger. Look at it. Look at that. So it looks like the first place guy used up his tires. Um, Brent Braden used up his tires trying to get out in front of us. Underestimated how many laps we had remaining. Used up his tires. Six laps to go. See the battle there? Gaining a lot of momentum there off of four. Carried it through the front stretch. Fourteen. Trying to make a crossover move, but didn't carry over the momentum. So, four laps remaining at the line. I become the leader of the race. 14 is not going to go down without a fight though. Both driving the look, same looking uh, rims there at the time. Three to go. He's lost enough tires where now he has given up second position to Mr. Jeffrey Israel. Oh, contact. Not I don't think that was intentional, but oh, Jeffrey. Is he going to save it? Oh. Uh, he saves it. He saves it. But he loses the positions. Quite a bit of them. Final lap. Lap traffic, oh, the 28 gets into the wall. Scary, especially if you're the leader. And it looks like uh, Braden does lose one more position. Yes, Michael Brower does get second place from him. Well, see the fireworks over there? Boom, 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 boom. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Stop by again for win number six. Have a good one.
Hey everybody, Jordan here and I want to thank you for tuning in and watching the stream here today. I have a short little video to show you how you can support the Gonzales Racing Team. Right after that, we'll come back to our regular scheduled programming and again, I just want to thank you for stopping in. God bless.